Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld, and picking up immediately from where we left off, I have looked it up and can say with 100% certainty that indeed architect genes cannot be extracted. Which does lead me to wonder, because I, like I said, I'm sure in an off-camera uh, playthrough that I was able to pull this uh, archite metabolism out. So, I don't know what to say there, but, uh, I mean, I'm also, I, I've, <laughs> I haven't really played around with this much, so I don't know if I'm, if I make a gene pack, if, like, you can only use that gene pack once, or if, like, once you've made it, you can, like, that particular gene pack can be inserted multiple times. A little confused on that part, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how, how things shake out, I guess. And I'm thinking to myself that we are indeed going to go ahead and suspend fine meals. Also, I just noticed that we, we've had this simple meal thing this whole time. So when I made that other simple meal thing, it was a complete waste. But anyway, I, I've also added up uh, lavish meals here because I, I think we're getting to a point where we might be able to afford it. Again, probably a good idea to expand the freezer just to be safe, but... Um, you know. Okay, and the refugees are leaving. Alright, so that, that worked out pretty well for us, I'd say. Uh, my next goal, I think, is uh, we should go visit this ancient complex over here, which, if we really want it, I guess we could then also check out this weather controller, but I don't feel like doing that. Yeah, 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 I was never going to do that. I mean, especially not for a tornado generator, like you think I'm insane? I'm gonna just unleash a tornado on my own colony? I think not. I mean, the only time I could see myself using a, tor a tornado generator would, would be if we were raiding someone else's base. Which also leads me to think, could you imagine if uh, raiders could use psychic shock lances and tornado generators and stuff? Ooh boy, that would be... That would certainly be something. All right, so I think we are going to uh, follow through with that plan of uh, adjusting stuff over here. Which means, again, I should adjust stuff here so that um, maybe I keep all the wart and hops here. Feels like a sensible thing to do. It also means we want to move this in here. This should be destroyed, so we'll have Kacha do that. And I guess I guess we're probably gonna need this second cooler. So we we better do that. How are we doing on power generation anyway? Uh da, 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 da. let's see. Nope. Uh 930 watts. So it's gonna be it's gonna start getting pretty tight here, but we should be able to pull it off. I feel like I'm gonna keep this door for now. But I'm just gonna stop allowing people to use it. All right, and there's the tribal terminal. Might as well check in on that while we're at it. We'll go ahead and deconstruct this wall here. And this will pretty much guarantee we have more room for freezer stuff than we could possibly ever need. Or at least, you know, that's the hope. Also, why have I never given Katya one of these better bedrooms? You'd figure the founder and vampire overlord of our colony would deserve the best room. Maybe I'll give her a ridiculously large... Uh... Thing. You know what? I like the sound of that. I'll give her... The best room in the house. Because why not? Best of the best. I mean, I guess I can't... Can I, now that I've put a bridge, put a carpet over this? No. All right, so this is not actually going to be the best of the best. Where would I put that? Actually, I, I suppose um, this could be Kacha's bedroom as well. Yeah, that's what this could be. I dig it. Though I should then change it. I've, I've already put the doors in. I feel like, like such a fool. You know what, having two doors to get into the bedroom, not not a deal breaker. And you know what, I could uh, use those like animal flap doors, which don't actually count as doors, I think, for separating rooms. 
and then that could, uh, at least I don't think they count as doors for separating rooms. Because then, like, this back area could be Kacha's actual bed area. And we have, like, some nice, I don't know, frumbo fur doors or something. Something super luxuriant. Damn. So, if I just do this... It works. Alright. Really good. Seven. Seven. Yeah, and then we have a gap here, and then a gap there, and... It's all slowly piecing together. I don't think this is my best possible work, but... It's not terrible. Alright, also, let's go ahead and accept this quest. Where is it? Alright, so... This lasts forever, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go here... Maybe we'll go back here on the way home. And then... You know, we'll leave this here forever, because... Permanent rain doesn't hurt me. And I guess, actually, for a vampire commune, this may be the, the actual... The best way to do things. Maybe. Oh, come on. that That's what's upset you? I mean, I guess there's also... And why are you people constantly eating without tables? Like... Like, honestly. We have so many bloody... I, you know, I wish Vanilla Room World had a one-by-one one table. Alright, we'll put some tables in here. There we go. Guess we'll have to do something about these alpacas. Also, any horses yet? I mean, I can ride the donkey. So I guess that's a thing. And as far as I can tell... Uh, what is it? There's like a ride speed thing. Yeah. As far as I can tell... I, I almost don't know why this is even a thing. Because in Vanilla Rimworld, as far as I can tell... Every single rideable animal has the exact same multiplier. So... Yeah. Maybe not. I haven't looked into it that deeply, but of the animals I have looked into, it's all the same dang thing. Alright, we'll we'll tame a donkey then. I you know, if that if that's the best we can we can do, then so be it. And I wanna I wanna get some action going here this episode, so I figure I'm gonna just fast forward until we get some stuff done and I will pick up with uh, everything, hopefully, getting done. Alrighty then, so we're back in and we have a quest for a new friend to join us. And I was talking about the gender imbalance in this colony and there we go, 44 year old, uh, anyone who's about his age? Actually, nope, you're 19. Morgan, maybe Morgan and uh, this Inquisitor will uh, get along. We will see. Oh, good, good man, good man. Grabbing some stuff as you're coming in. So, uh, what, what do we actually know about you? You're really good with children. Uh, that's, you know, you always like to see that. Let's actually make this priority two. We wanna, and you have a real passion for animals. You're not super great about it, but you're passionate. And that counts for something in this world. Good crafter, good researcher. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll let you let you off on the well. Hauling's pretty important, so you know we'll make sure you're doing that. Uh, Fidelism. All right, not bad. How do you feel about you disapprove of bonding? I don't know. Okay, you do believe in free love, so that's that's a plus. The animal bonding part, that's uh, that's not as good, but I I don't think that's a deal breaker. I kind of want to give you a gun, but... Oh wait, we do have guns, so I will give you a gun. Jolly good. And then you can fight. So what's going to happen is we're going to have... Wait, wait, in four days. This could be perfect. I mean, it's going to go horribly wrong because it's like my plan and it's what I want to do. But just imagine, just imagine if you will, that uh, we have ra the raiders come in. If we're lucky, they both come in, like, you know, like, one comes in up here, one over here. 
We summon the Diabolus. The Diabolus comes over here somewhere. And the Raiders and the Diabolus, they duke it out. And then we don't have to actually fight it. Genius, I tells you. Genius. You know, a thought occurs to me. Are they, is this actually even connected to my grid? It is not. It has never been a connected to my grid. I am an idiot. It happens. Which, uh, speaking of... Let's, uh... I wonder if I should actually run it through here. You know what? Let's, uh... Maybe making these double thick would be... A smart strategy. I mean, my only real hope with these walls is to try and encourage the AI pathfinding to make sure they go across the bridges. And also to minimize targets, uh, yeah, I'll do that. All right, so we do a little of this. I mean, like, like, surely, surely, if this massive forest river in the way, now, if we had certain mods, we could actually make all this deep water and then further encourage the AI to only take the bridges. But, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of balanced being able to, assuming it requires a reasonable amount of work to, like, dredge up the river. Then it's balanced. All right, could we uh, have everyone focus on getting this corn in? I don't know, I want you to haul the corn. Everyone can haul some corn. Anyway, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try this strategy here. So I, I just need to make sure I keep an eye on when the raid is gonna show up. So six hours ago, four days. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that hauler is gonna do some hauling as well. But yeah, look at this, 2,000 or 3,000 overall units of corn. We're going places, man. I tell ya. Alright, Katja's still working on building up her cool thing. What is JJ's problem? No artificial enhancement, and he wants a neural supercharge. Well, we all want stuff, JJ. We don't always get what we want, though. So, you know, you're gonna have to... Gonna have to learn to live with that if you want to live in this colony. Maybe it's a bit much, uh, shoveling all the roads, but, you know, might as well. I mean, we can probably do the whole neural supercharge thing. Oh, for the love of God. JJ, my man. Okay, good. We just started a social fight, and that'll probably end this. And you're getting... There we go. See, Wolf doesn't take shit. Not from anybody. Not... Especially not from, uh, new people. Newcomers. But, uh... We'll work on getting our... Our room set up. And I guess, uh... With this, we might as well just make it all wooden floors. Yeah, I guess some... Some slightly cheaper rooms. Very impressive. This isn't really a bedroom yet, but it will be. At some point. Someday. And I guess a table. Of course, you know that building all these tables is just going to result in people getting all upset, no doubt. Turn off gather spots. We don't want people just hanging out around the tables. Tables are for eating. Uh, and let, let's... I can't check right now. Okay, and we can't even see the percentage chance, but... How does everyone feel but our, our new colonist anyway? Uh, JJ. Why do you hate everybody? Angering fight... Physically hit... Oh, come on. Morgan's not that bad. I mean... Really? Is it is it the peg leg? That's what makes you hideous? Oh my sweet summer child. <laughs> you have no idea what you're getting into. Oh, and Wolfie's gonna have a mental break now. Also, let's convert Wolfie. 
She's close to having a mental break, so she should be more susceptible to... Uh... There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. So it also seems like two prisoners support a vampire, more or less. Oh, good. You've actually finally uh, regrew your genes, so I can chuck you in the old, in the old thing. Uh, Matt. It's such an unassuming name for a vampire. All right. Chuck him in. All right. Uh, also, when it comes to the meals, okay, we're running low, so let's uh, untick this. I'm pretty sure Katja can cook. Yeah. Can. Take 10 million years for Petronella to get up to level 10, unless we get a cooking thing. All right. So I guess uh, we're going to be holding off going places until... Until this whole uh, situation with uh, JJ is resolved. Okay, JJ's back up. Would like you to equip a gun. Oh no! My carpet materials. That's no good. But we do still have lots of cloth, so it should be fine. And when it comes to the growing, I mean, despite having three people of high priority grow. I mean, I guess construction comes first with these things, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Of course, if I make construction lower, then we might not ever end up getting around to it. We'll see. I want to make this a higher priority. Actually, Kelly, could you, uh, could you finish planting the Devil Strand? Let's not take 10 million years to get this done, shall we? I mean, one or two uh, yields of it should be all we need. Got a lot of a lot of yaks going around here. Which I mean, again, should keep our our meat stocks uh, in good good standing, I suppose, if nothing else. Well, I mean, oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're getting places. Now we're getting places. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually prefer, okay, you know what? If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, which is annoying as heck. I wish I could just, you know, one click. Actually, is there an option? No, there's not. I wish I could just one click and say, sew this whole area and make that as a top priority. So I like everything growing all at once. You know what? Uh, this is probably gonna backfire on me, but maybe if I send Katja in, she'll uh, do all the harvesting. We can focus on the sewing over here with Callie. Oh no, Katja's... I mean, this is some old stuff that needed... Uh, replacing as well, so, all right, it, you know, it, it's all coming together. Slowly, but surely. Oh, Callie, you missed a spot. And that seems to be everything. What are you doing? Okay, you're going, you're just going back and forth, man. You know, Iris, I'm gonna block you. Katja, okay, you need to go back to bed, because you're tired. That's fair. Actually, you're not even tired. I mean, you're supposed to be sleeping, but... All right. gonna take a moment, but, you know, sometimes you gotta micromanage. I also, I don't know if it's me, maybe it's just uh, the way I've got this particular colony set up, but I feel like I have to micromanage growing a lot more uh, in, uh, since 1.4 dropped. I mean, it's probably just me, but there's a part of me that wonders if maybe it's not. Oh my goodness. All right, so we should be okay for a while here. What's going on here? Major break from Wolf. It's always a major break from Wolf. Oh, also, you don't, you don't need to run away anymore. All right, good. So you guys are all set up. That's coming together. This is here. I should consider expanding. I mean, I, I should build more stuff up here so we can block stuff. I feel like I'm stuttering a lot. 
just now, but uh, maybe that's just my imagination. Anyway, the important thing... Now this would probably be another good example of using plasteel doors. Uh, since, you know, it keeps the prisoners in. But, uh, how, how is our steel right now? Steel is good. Plasteel, where the heck is all my plasteel gun? But let's, uh, I don't know what I was doing with this, but let's make it plasteel only. That way I can see all my plasteel in one place. You know, just make life a little easier. Life's hard enough. We might as well, you know, do what we can to make things just a little bit easier. Oh, you know what? I also should switch to this. Just drop it on the floor when you're done. Just because it, it's easier that way. Someone else can haul it away. Wolfie, clean all this dirt. It's filthy in here. Also, oh god, we're outside. Iris, finish building this sandstone wall. Oh boy. So much stuff we gotta prepare for. Alright, two point three days. We still have a little bit more to go, so I'm I'm probably going to cut ahead for the next episode. And we'll you know we'll see how things end up going there. But until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.